Hello, um, I'm Brutal Neanderthal, or Ryan, whatever you pick. Um, today I'm going to do a little comparison between uh, musicians, and uh, the comparison is going to be between Cliff Burton of Metallica and Alex Webster of Cannibal Corpse uh, to see who is the better bass player. Um, Right now, like, if you're unfamiliar with uh, either of those, I will play a little sample of uh, what they can do, um, just a little bit. Bass solo takes This one. is Cliff Burton of Metallica. That was Cliff Burton, and uh, there isn't a lot to go by for Alex Webster because I couldn't find any uh, tracks that were strictly just bass lines, but um, the part for Fucked With A Knife uh, may help at all. Uh, here's that. <laughs> Um, yeah, as I said, there wasn't much to go by for, uh, Alex Webster, but, um, you know, basically you can understand what he's capable of. I mean, that sounded like, if you know, you're, uh, if you know anything about how to play bass, you would understand that he's flying. <laughs> like, there's a lot of technicality going behind that, and along with Cliff Burton's stuff, and that's not even the best thing Cliff Burton's done. And I guarantee Fucked With A Knife's not the best thing Alex Webster's done either. But basically, um, before I tell my opinion on who I think is better, I'm gonna say that, um, Cliff Burton only recorded three albums with Metallica, so we're really, um, unsure of what what he could have done in the future. I mean, we've seen some of his work that was never published that Metallica's done, and, you know, that sounds pretty cool. Like, well, No Leaf Clover wasn't really a thrash song, but it was a good song, whether you agree or disagree. Um, with, and with Alex Webster, um, I'm gonna have to say that Obviously, well, I'm not selling Cliff Short here either. Both of them are fantastic musicians, uh, fantastic bass players. Um, but when compared with how much you can go off of with Alex and how much you can go off of with Cliff, Cliff did three albums with Metallica, and Alex did 11 with Cannibal Corpse. And um, he also did something... Uh, I can't remember the name of the album, but it was uh, Blotted Science. I can't remember anybody else that played on that record, but I've listened to it. Pretty technical, pretty good stuff. Um, but it was very... It's really good. Like, they're both fantastic musicians, as I said, and my vote is going to have to go ultimately with Alex. I mean, my, if Cliff would have lived past 1986, um, it would have been, it probably would have been different because at the rate that they were going, they just kept getting better and better and better. And to see him now would probably made this decision a little more difficult. But I will give Cliff this, like this is for bass, for bass playing. For overall musicianship, I am definitely going to have to go with Cliff. Alex is a good musician, but Cliff is an amazing musician. He is fucking crazy good. But, um, 
that's my opinion. Uh, you can have whatever opinion you want because this is it's almost a toss up. Um, basically, so uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you watch this, leave your comment on who you think is better. Alright, thanks.